Welcome to Pirate Cruise. In this lesson I'm learning to solve problems by making equal shares. Let's imagine there are 12 gold coins, which you can see up here, which need to be shared between four pirates. We can record that like this. 12 gold coins shared between four pirates. And we're trying to work out how many gold coins will each pirate get. Now one way I can do that is by sharing out all the gold coins. I can give one to each of the pirates. And you can see that that leaves me with eight more. So I, eight left rather. So I can give every pirate one more gold coin. And now there's just four gold coins left. So I can give everyone one more gold coin. So now you can see that every pirate has got three gold coins. So 12 gold coins shared between four pirates means each, par each pirate gets three gold coins. Now we're going to see if we can answer some questions like that by using uh, skip counting rather than sharing out every coin individually. Now let's try this question. Uh, once again there are 12 gold coins, but this time the gold coins only need to be shared between two pirates. So I want to know how many gold coins will each pirate get? And I can record that like this. 12 gold coins shared between two pirates equals some amount. So I can see that half of these gold coins are going to have to go to the first pirate and the other half are going to have to go to the second pirate. And I know that half of 12 is 6 and I can check that using my repeated addition. 6 plus 6 equals 12. So what that means is if I gave 6 to the first pirate and 6 to the second pirate I will have shared out all 12 gold coins. Well, let's use the materials we've got here to see if we're right. So you can give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to pirate 1. And if we're right, this second pirate should have 6 gold coins and there should be none left to share out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six. Perfect. We were right. If we gave six to the first pirate and six to the second, that shares out all 12 coins. Let's try one last question. This time I've got 15 gold coins and I need to share them between three pirates. So I can record that like this. 15 gold coins shared between three pirates and I'm working out how many will each pirate get. So I need to use my repeated addition or skip counting to help me answer this question. I know that the amount of coins that Pirate 1 gets plus the amount of coins that Pirate 2 gets plus the amount of coins that Pirate 3 gets must equal 15. So I'm using repeated addition to help me work that out. Well, I know that 5 plus 5 equals 10, plus another 5 equals 15. Now there's a couple of things we just need to check to make sure we've got the right answer. One, have we shared out all the gold coins? Yes, we've shared out all 15. And the second thing is, have all the pirates been given the same amount? Yes, I can see they've all been given 5. But now we can check that using the materials that we've got up here. So I'm going to start by giving 5 coins to Pirate 1. And now I'm going to give 5 to Pirate 2. And if we've got this right, there should be just 5 coins left which will go to Pirate 3. And you can see we are right. We've shared out all the gold coins and all the pirates have got the same amount of coins. They've all got five. 
So, 15 gold coins shared between three pirates means each pirate gets five gold coins. Well, I hope you found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachtools.co.nz.